Hi all. In this video, I'm going to show you how to adjust the meeting options, which can be very important. Now, the most granular way to do this involves going to the calendar tab within Teams. This way I can choose to edit individual or a series of meetings. So click the calendar. I can see the meeting I just created. And if I click it, I have the option to edit. But when I click edit, I can either edit the specific occurrence, that session, or the entire series. This could be important if maybe I want different settings for one week where I have student presentations. Or another example is if I make repeating meetings for an entire term, you're probably going to want to go in and delete out the one for, say, the week where it's reading week. So let's pretend I'm going to edit the entire series because maybe I want to make the options for the entire term. When I do that, I get to my details page. Of course, I could cancel the meeting, but this would, again, remember, cancel my series. So go to individual one if you want to cancel and get a link, which we'll look at later. But meeting options, if I click that, it's going to open in a new tab. I'm going to drag that over here. And this will be the meeting options, remember, for this case, the entire series. So what do I have? I can set up a lobby. Do I want students going into the room when I'm not there? Maybe not. Maybe I don't actually care either way, but if I want, I can set up a lobby and say only myself and my co-organizers are the ones able to bypass it. Or maybe I want all my students. When I go into the meeting, I have these same options, so I can always override it when I get there, because if I do have a lobby set up, I'd actually have to manually let people into the meeting. Do I want to have an announcement every time someone dialing in joins or leaves? You might have heard this before where it's announcing their name or number. Personally, I find that annoying, so I'll turn it off. I can add co-organizers, other people who I want to have a higher level of permission. I added my TA earlier, and there they are. And now everyone who can present is pretty important. You likely don't want your students being able to present over top of you. So you might say only you and co-organizers or maybe specific people. Again, maybe you're going to have some students present that day, so you could specify who exactly. I'm going to say only organizers and co-organizers. Hopefully you want them to be able to use their mic and camera. Record automatically is up to you. I don't like the idea of having a bunch of dead time at the end or at the beginning when I first joined the meeting, so I turn that off and manually start it. Q&A would be likely if you're turning off the chat and more looking at a webinar forum. The allow reactions, this is where people can do things like applaud, give thumbs up, so I recommend leaving it on. The cart captions and language interpretation would only be if you actually have someone who's going to manually do it. Microsoft Teams does have automatic captions that a student could turn on. This would be if you had someone manually doing it. And finally, you may or may not want an attendance report. And if I'm happy with these settings, I'll click Save. And in my case, I've now set up the meeting options for the entire term. If I want to change them for a specific meeting, I'd go in and edit that occurrence.